Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build a tier 4 or processing system uh, with mechanism version 9. Uh, this will let you turn one ore into five ingots. Uh, note this only works with ingot type ores, so like iron, gold, uh, osmium, copper, tin. Uh, it won't work with like redstone, diamonds, or lapis. Um, this requires a lot of machines uh, uh, and definitely a lot of energy too, so make sure you have a strong uh, power source before you do this, especially if you want it to go fast enough. Uh, you will also need a at least one thermal evaporation plant. If you don't know how to build one of these, I have a tutorial on it. Uh, you should go ahead and watch that first if you don't already have one or don't know how to use it or how to build it. Uh, but yeah, you will need one, uh, just, just need one making brine, and I would recommend making it the max, maximum height of 18 because you will need its full power. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to make is hydrogen chloride, and to do that you'll need uh, two electrolytic separators. So you need one that, uh, one that creates, one with, that takes water, and then the other one that takes brine. So I'm just going to hook both of those up here. Uh, you will need both the hydrogen and oxygen from this one, and you won't need the uh, whatever is sodium, so you can go ahead and dump excess of that because you will never need it. Uh, and then you'll need a chemical infuser, and then you'll need the hydrogen, hydrogen, and the um, whatever it is, chlorine to make the hydrogen chloride. Um, and then you need that hydrogen chloride coming out of here. And this needs to go into a chemical injection chamber. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that over here. Let's go ahead and space this out just so it doesn't get messy. It's really hard to organize a lot of this. Um, could easily compress it more, but I'm just going to kind of spread it out. So this will take the hydrogen chloride, and uh, let's go ahead and say inside you will need to you'll need a large source of gunpowder. Um, now, if you have a lot of gunpowder, you can just put it in. But uh, if you don't have a lot of gunpowder, which you probably wouldn't, uh, you can easily create it uh, from basically if you have a large supply of cobblestone, sand, gravel, or flint, you could make um, gunpowder from it. So right now you'll see uh, kind of a flow chart. Uh, it kind of shows you how you can turn all these resources into gunpowder and back and all that. Um, so there's plenty of different ways you can make it from stone, cobble, gravel, or sand, or flint. Uh, it's pretty simple. It might kind of require a chain of machines, but uh, you definitely will need it because you'll need a lot of gunpowder. Um, but for just this tutorial, I'm just going to fill it with uh, gunpowder. So the next thing you will need is a chemical oxidizer. Um, this just needs um, I need a logistical transporter uh, needs what's coming out of here, the sulfur. Uh, so we'll go ahead and turn on eject, and I'll go to the oxidizer. Uh, the oxidizer will produce, oh, once it's powered, sorry. It'll produce sulfur dioxide, and so the next thing you'll need is another uh, chemical infuser, and uh, connect it with a pressurized tube. And sulfur dioxide on this side, and then you will need oxygen on the other side, so I'm just going to go ahead and run a long cable with oxygen. Make sure not to get these uh, pressurized tubes mixed because they you might have to like end up replacing all of them uh, because they can get filled up with some other and then that won't let you fill it up with anything else. So just a word of warning there. Let's go in here. There you go, and that will make the sulfur trioxide, which we'll need for the next step. So you will need water vapor for this uh, next step. Um, but actually, I'll just go ahead and I need another 
uh, and teaser. Just gonna place it down here. And so you'll need uh, water vapor. You don't have to make water vapor. You, at all you need is a rotary condenser here. Make sure and place it the big side on wherever the water comes in the the big side, and then the vapor comes out the small side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run a water pipe down here. Get up to power. And you will need to click this toggle operation so it'll start making the water vapor. Because uh, it can go back and forth. And then go ahead and hook it up with pressurized tubes. And so the water vapor goes on this side. And then the uh, whatever it was, sulfur trioxide comes in this side. And it makes sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid is also a gas, so you use pressurized tubes again. And you will need to connect it to a chemical dissolution chamber. And uh, this is where you actually put in the ore. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some iron ore put in here just to make sure it's working. Pick it up to power. There you go. And what comes out of this is also gas, it's iron slurry. So you need pressurized tubes. Next thing you need is a chemical washer. And this also requires water. And electricity, of course. And that will start making a clean slurry. After that, it, uh, still a gas, and you need to put it into a, you need a chemical, uh, chemical crystallizer, and that will process the clean slurry into, I believe, uh, crystal, yeah, crystals. And the crystals, so these are items, so you'll need tra uh, logistical transporters after this. So you'll need an injection chamber. Uh, now this injection chamber uh, so you, this is where you start to really need to edit these site configs. So go ahead and turn this to red input, and uh, go ahead and turn on auto eject. Uh, this needs um, whatever it was, the hydrogen chloride. So go ahead and melt the run this down here. And again, you know this this is like a really big. You know I'm just. I'm spacing this out a lot, you can easily make this uh, way more compressed. If you wanted to. Uh, and this needs this auto object needs to be turned on as well. About these shards, uh, you'll need a purification chamber. So the other school transporter, and then basically you'll need everything what you need the uh, machines that you use for tier two or three. So a crusher, or a purifying factory, crusher, enrichment factory, and a smelling factory. Now, um, and of course these don't have to be like the factories, they could be the normal ones too. Um, it's not like tier three where it's like this huge ball net produces three because uh, one crystal produces one shard and one uh, clump and whatever on and on. So you don't necessarily need a factory, but if you speed this up, uh, you will need it, and then you'd probably want to upgrade this too to a factory, uh, but you would need a lot of hydrogen chloride. But I'm just using the factories, uh, you know, I mean, it just doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and push this at the end here. And then you'll need to do all the configuring, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn auto eject on all these. Oh, and the auto sort as well. And then the power, and then the purification chamber needs oxygen, of course, so I'm going to have to drag this oxygen down here. And yeah, so I've let it process for a second just to show you, so you'll see that the shards turn into the clumps, and the clumps turn into the dirty dust, and the dirty dust turns into the normal dust, and then turns into the ingots. Uh, so yeah, that's how you make a tier four, um, four processing system. Uh, you can see in the purification chamber we're already running out of oxygen, so you'll 
Again, there's so many ways you can optimize this. You'll have to put, uh, put in upgrades to light, especially these electrolytic separator, the gas up, uh, upgrades to make them produce more. Uh, one thing I forgot to say, you probably want to put these on dump excess in case one of them builds up. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you could probably mess with this forever and it, there'd still be a bottleneck somewhere. There's just so many different uh, parts or machines here. Uh, but yeah, that's how you uh, make a tier 4 or processing system. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.